I'm Gabby Anderson, and I am an artist. I do all kinds of art. I work with lots of different mediums. My most common medium is always paint because I do customize shoes. Art for me is an outlet somewhere I can express myself freely without any judgment because it's all about what I want to do, what I want to portray on the canvas. I would consider myself a sneakerhead just because of my love of shoes. How the shoe was made and what the thought process behind the shoe is really important to me. Art to me is a connector. So personally for me, Whenever I get a big call, I try not to get my hopes up. Debbie Anderson is a high school basketball player in Ohio. She's also owns She's her own business, graffiti by Gabby Crimson. Thank you. Hey Gabby, what's up? This is RJ. Love your work. Uh, this is what I'm hoping you can do for me. I come from a small town called Little Elm, Texas. Uh, our colors are blue and gold. Uh, recently, my coach just passed away this past year, so I want to do something to honor my hometown and him. Thank you so much. So probably for the shoe for RJ, I would like to know a lot more about his coach, a lot more about his hometown. So I will do that research, how he feels towards that subject, so that way I can really get the mood for the shoe. And then of course I will make a, a mock-up on my iPad. Uh, usually I sketch out the shoes and what I'm gonna do to the design, so that way I don't just go in and butcher the shoe. Flowy stripes across the shoe, blue and gold, portrait of his past coach, maybe a quote. Total work hours is kind of difficult because I do balance it with like school and my sport. And I also do like other projects and shoes as well. So it's Wednesday, I only have one class today, which is AP Art. It starts at 3.15, so I'm on my way there. It's enjoyable, I just get to sit there, um, listen to music and just draw all day. Sometimes I will like find new techniques when I'm in class. There's a big research portion to the class. And so sometimes when I do research and I find cool things or like cool artists, I'll look at them again when I'm starting a shoe to kind of use some of those concepts. And so, I mean, I think it definitely has helped me improve and will continue to help me improve on just my refined and honing in on my skills and making them better. Social media has been a very, very large part of my entire business just because my business started out on Instagram. Communicate and brand yourself on social media. Hi, RJ. This was a really big opportunity for me because I have wanted to branch out into the NBA because a lot of times as a female basketball player, I get lots of coaches and other players from WNBA, high school, all in the women's program, but I wanted to branch out into something different. So I was very excited once I got the call from Orlando Magic and they asked me to do this shoe for RJ. I've seen him play before. He's super sweet, super amazing. Thank you, RJ, for all of the things you've given me to incorporate into the shoe. And I think it came out really well. I feel revolutionary. I feel like I'm taking a step towards something that hasn't happened quite yet. I know there are other female customizers and I think they're amazing, actually. I love to look at other customizers and how they go through the process of what they're doing. And I think it's very important that we pave the way for other young ladies to figure that out. 